Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 2.4, Solving Equations Involving Fractions. This is a great C video. I hope you enjoy it, and let's start. So the aim of this chapter is to find out what the variable is in the last few uh, clip. Uh, there are, uh, f there is always one variable that we want to find, but they are in really strange positions, and you kind of don't have the method, don't have a way to find out what it is, and so we need to do um, rearranging, simplification, and factorization all together to find out what that variable is. So without anything else, let us go for some examples. So in this um, equation, we have 8x, we have x, we have 2, we have 1. How do you solve this? Well, I don't know. Uh, so let us try to solve it. So the first thing you need to do is uh, to use the most simplified version to solve a question. And in this case, you don't need to do anything because it is simplified. And remember, uh, rearrange them into improper, frac uh, improper fractions. And um, if there is like, say, 1 plus x uh, over 2, then you have to change this 1 into 2 over 2 and combine those two into 2 plus x over 2. So, but uh, that is how you kind of simplify them. But now uh, we don't care about that. So, let uh, see uh, what's the next step then after um, making it into a top bottom top bottom fraction double fraction and what you need to do is now that is a really really good way of uh, doing math is called cross multiplication this is a really uh, useful skill uh, f for when you do these kind of solving um, variables. So, what you need to do is uh, basically to draw a cross in this kind of way. Now you see a cross, right? This is why it's called cross multiplication. What you do now is for each line that you've drawn, uh, multiply those two terms and they will be the same and um, to make it a bit easier to understand because I'm not sure about my verbal explanation skills you can write it like that 8x squared equals 2 because 2 times 1 is 2 8x times x is 8x squared and now you can solve this kind of and um, um, it is tricky because you've got a square, but I'll talk about that later. So now, rearranging. You need to... Um, no, actually, uh, before you do anything, expand brackets after you do cross multiplications. Because in this case, you don't get to have any brackets, but in exams, you will. Uh, most likely or most definitely and you have to expand it fully collect the like terms then you can calculate what x is and in case there are two terms of say x then one on the left one on the right say um then you have to um move the col uh, move the x term into one side move uh, the constant term on the other side then uh, factorize that x out of the bracket uh, out of the left hand side 
and leave the coefficients in the bracket and that is kind of where you get tripped because factorizing is a kind of a high level skill that you need to know in order to do math and yeah basically if you can't do factorizing well then you have quite a lot of trouble so my uh, suggestion to you is to learn how to factorize uh, and repeat and try to experiment with it and see if you can understand it well but now back to this question 8x squared equals 2 what we can do is to divide both sides by 8 or to cross the river move 8 to the right and divide it and say um, then we will result in x squared equals 2 over 8 which we can simplify into 1 over 4 because they are multiples of 2 right now we have x squared equals 1 fourth so how do we do x use square root the opposite side because the opposite of squaring is to square root so that is not a pen um, the square root and you cross that out x will equal to square root of one fourth which is also equal to square root of 1 over the square root of 4 I'm not sure if this is a commonly known thing but if you see a big square root with a fraction it means the square root of the top over the square root of the bottom and you know what? the square root of 1 is what? Uh, the square root of 4 is correspondingly 2 and therefore x is actually equal to 1 half so that is how you solve these kind of um, questions and I do recommend you to fill the fraction or the answer back into the fractions to see if they are equal and in this case 1 half divided by 2 is 1 fourth then 1 over a half times 8 is 1 over 4 which they're both equal to 1 over 4 let's say so they are equal and so this answer is true and that is another way of proving yourself being right or being wrong so if you're unsure about your answer try to fill the answer back in so uh, for tips, I will recommend you to simplify the fraction uh, before you do anything about it because that's the whole purpose of the last um, part which is I think 2.3 is to simplify them for this uh, solving cross multiplication is very useful to save you a lot of time and relieve your pressure when you're in an exam because the chance that you get cross multiplication wrong is uh, near zero and it's really quick it's basically combining two multiplication in the normal rearranging and so that is a really really time saving and good method to learn and yeah that's it let us do some questions so I have designed three questions uh, for you to answer all of which are a bit uh, interesting and I'll tell you a spoiler all three answers which X A and Q is uh, well are integers which are whole numbers basically so yeah in the count of five I'll release the answer and so you can have a go in five four three
two, one. There you go. These are the answers to the question. And that's it for this video. I hope you've learned something. If you have, leave me a like, um, write some comments about it. And if you have any answer, uh, questions, be free. Uh, feel free to ask it in the comments because I'll answer them. And so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.